finding happiness. A beautiful woman in an expensive dress came to her. Psychiatrist saying that she was depressed and her life was meaningless. I'm going to ask Mary here to tell you how she found happiness. All I want you to do is listen to her. The psychiatrist called the old lady who cleaned the office floors and asked her to share her story with his client. So the old lady put her broom sat on a chair and told her story my husband died of cancer. Three months later my only son was killed by a car I had nobody. I had nothing left. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. I never smiled at anyone I even thought of taking my own life. Then one evening, a little kitten followed me home from work. Somehow I felt sorry for that kitten. It was cold outside. So I decided to let the kitten in. I got it some milk and the kitten licked the plate clean. Then it rubbed against my leg and for the first time in months, I smiled. Then I stopped to think if helping a little kitten could make me smile. Maybe doing something for people could make me happy. So the next day, I baked some biscuits and took them to a neighbor who was sick in bed. Every day I tried to do something nice for someone. It made me so happy to see them happy. Today I don't know of anybody who sleeps better than I do. I have found happiness by giving it to others. When she heard that, the rich lady cried. She had everything money could buy, but she had lost the things money cannot buy. The beauty of life does not depend on how happy you are, but on how happy others can be because of you. Happiness is not a destination. It's a journey. Happiness is not tomorrow. It's now. Happiness is not a dependency. It's a decision. Happiness is who? Yower, not what you have.